In this demonstration of SciGen site capture, we'll be giving you an overview of the geotag photo import and extraction capability of site capture, and then we'll post the images to um, a SharePoint library and use Esri uh, ArcGIS to map the images that we plot. So within site capture, we can either automatically or manually import um, geotag JPEG images. And in this example, we'll go ahead and do a manual import process. And just to put this one in context, this is an example for um, taking inventory or maybe um, an electrical company that's going out and they want to uh, do maintenance on, let's say, um, transformers. And they want to take a picture of a barcode and, and then plot uh, where the maintenance actually occurred. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and open our... Um, our document type and then I'll go ahead and import a few images in the product we can actually um, enter information about the batch and we'll track uh, all the activities that occur with this batch of photographs it'll take a sec to import these are fairly large photographs and we're doing a few things here as we import these images we're actually extracting the latitude and longitude as well as the date from inside the image. So when you take a picture with a geotag uh, capable camera or uh, a cell phone that actually has geotagging capability, it'll tag this within a header within the image. So we're extracting that information. We're also actually reading the barcode off these images. So you can imagine the applications for this technology. You can go out and um, take a photograph of this, do inventory, uh, you can plot things on maps, um, you can use it for, uh, like I said, maintenance purposes. Uh, if you want to do some, some basic surveying, you can go out and take pictures of different points on a piece of land and then import the information. Now, all of these have been tagged. As we go into the indexing process, um, we have the ability, in this case everything's already indexed, but you do have the ability to run a validation process. Um, so you could actually bounce this equipment ID off a database to make sure it exists. You could um, uh, you know, bounce off other information or return information from uh, the database about this, this piece of equipment. Okay. Now in the quality assurance interface, we have the ability to view all the information about all the photographs within a nice pretty spreadsheet representation. So now I can look at all this information, make sure it's correct, make sure the barcodes were extracted correctly before I actually send the information over to SharePoint. Now when I click done, all this information will get migrated into a SharePoint document library. So in one fell swoop I've got uh, a line of data with information that I can throw into SharePoint columns that I can then plot on a map using an Esri tool uh, and likewise I've also got an archived picture of the piece of equipment. Okay, Now if I switch over to SharePoint really quickly you're gonna see here's my uh, here's my uh, SharePoint library with all my electrical gear and you can see that I've custom named the photograph okay based on uh, um, based on some settings that I put into uh, into site capture and it's a fairly large photograph so it's taken a minute to load um, so I have the ability to to view the picture oops okay so I can view the image I can uh, I can um, share it print it do whatever I need to do but I've also got all the data so you may say well what what can you do with the data well, I've, I've actually enabled um, uh, this library with uh, a, a, an Esri product called uh, Arc, an ArcGIS um, web part. So now I can come in and actually view the properties on the picture and it'll automatically plot it um, on a map. Okay, so I can actually see a, a location rendering uh, of where this actual picture was taken. Okay, so specifically to the picture, I can look at that. I also have the ability to um, create custom site pages with um, an overall map view. Okay, so I've gone ahead and, and done this, and I haven't plotted the information yet. Uh, so I'll go into the ArcGIS 
um, map web part. We'll go ahead and edit the web part. And I'll go ahead and get my ribbon bar available here. And you can see now that I've in, uh, enabled uh, the edit mode, I can come into the, the map web part. I can add some content. So I'm going to go ahead and browse the SharePoint site. And I am going to add my um, all my electrical equipment that I went out and, and did service on and photographed. And you'll see I can come into my layer and I can zoom in. All right. So now I've actually got all my gear plotted out within this SharePoint web part. And this is going to uh, Esri's web services and bringing back all the map information. And you've got capabilities to do a lot of different things with the maps, like uh, change symbols. So if you wanted something that would show up a little bit better on the map, you can actually load either the standard symbols or load a custom symbol set and plot that information out. Uh, if you're doing something where you want to look at uh, some kind of uh, intensity or plotting of different points on a map, you can do that by adding uh, a heat map signature. Okay, And then you can treat this as a layer on your map and you can turn it off and on. All right. Uh, if I were to click on one of these items or hover over it, I can actually render and see all the information within SharePoint about that particular point. So it's just a really nice way to have a single repository with not only your photographs but all the extracted data and have the ability to go ahead and plot it on um, any type of map that you'd like to plot it on. So if you have any questions you can write uh, sales at SciGen.com or you can give us a call at uh, 949-916-7700 extension 2. Thanks.